Kababayan Today, we're on our feet. Kasama pa rin natin si Lynn Pacificar and of course si Virgil Mayor Apostol para ipakita sa inyo kung ano ba talaga yung mga ginagawa nila sa trabaho nila. Okay, so Virgil, uh, let's start off with the demo of uh, ano ba ang uh, method mo in terms okay. of your work. Okay, so uh, using the terminology, Okay. Uh, for example, we have the arm. Uh oh. And in the arm, we have the bones, uh, yes. the tulang or the buto. Uh -oh. And in this case, it moves in two directions. Right. Flexion, extension. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, what moves it is the lasag or the laman. Uh oh. Uh, laman. Which is the flesh. Malaman. <laughs> Malaman talaga yan. Malaman talaga ito. Uh -oh. <laughs> and so it gives mechanical movement right. uh, to, the, to the bones. Right. Now, what activates it, well, there's also an, uh, another structure which we call a pennet or the lipid. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you look at your middle finger and we do this number, Ooh! you see oh my how gosh! it that number. Did you so, see that move? I didn't make that move. That moved on its own. Oh, wow! We need some disco music for this <laughs> one, some lights. Okay, <laughs> ang litid yan. Ang litid, yes. Okay. Anything that is uh, sinewy like tendons, ligaments, and something that's uh, stringy, uh -huh. and those are the structures. Now, if we also go to other structures, like for example this, Aha, aha. Yeah, medyo masakit, di ba? Oh, oh, masakit 'yun. Uh, others will say masakit na masarap. Oh, oh, masakit nga na masarap. <laughs> okay, you're right about that. Okay. So that structure is what we call the urat, the ugat, ulat, uyat, uhat, depending uh -huh. on the Philippine language. Okay. So, for example, if we look at the structure, we know the interconnectedness of all these things. For example, if there was a an ailment, a uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, for example, if I were to do something here, it would cause insult to injury. So, I would have to go to uh, in a uh, distal area I to see. affect this. Okay. Sometimes I'll have to go to another area. Okay. But understanding these structures would help to understand the whole entire body. Okay, you've only touched me in a couple of places yes. and already I feel better. <laughs> what, what, how did you do that? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so it's understanding the body in that the manner. Body. Okay. And also the movement, especially because of my background in the Filipino martial arts. That also helps in understanding. It's almost like two sides of the coin where you have the healing arts, you have the martial arts, but understanding how they both affect each other. Okay. So, for example, movement wise, if I were to apply this right here, I can see how it opens up this area so yeah. that when I were to apply pressure, you can sense, you can feel. Oh, yeah, that feels nice. Yes, so what I'm doing is I'm strategically positioning uh -huh. and then applying the pressure. Okay. So that's why I also uh, uh, employ or apply the um, practices from the martial arts, the Filipino martial arts, mm -hmm. okay. into the body movement. And I am also very careful in the terminology uh -oh. because a lot of the practices from indigenous cultures, when they come to America, they become subject to the rules or the regulations of the medical associations. Uh -oh. And all of these practices that were used for uh, medical conditions, okay. they now have now become reduced to a one hour full body massage. Oh, 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 oh. massage. massage. So that's the key. I do not use the term massage, although I would say that massage is a subcategory of a blown of hilot. Okay, that's a great way to understand it. All right, magbabalik po kami <laughs> here on Kababayan today. Kasama pa rin natin si Lynn at si Virgil.